Today we're going to read The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean, written by Deborah Dyson. The ocean is amazing, Mr. Fish was grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy and his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away when he turned around and saw a big, big mess. Whatever could it be? But he really couldn't tell, so he talked to his friend, who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving and I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer as she grabbed a few supplies. They'd travel to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright, but looming in the distance was that dark, dismal sight. A big, big mess. What's it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do, but we're gonna find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled, yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, big mess. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was a lot of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do, but we're gonna find some answers. Would you like to join us too? All is one, said Mrs. Squid, as she squished away some junk. The group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. The problem is us. We made the big, big mess. They froze in disbelief, then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Were they struck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too, but there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it, but this bad news can be good, for it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. Silence filled the ocean, their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision, but which one would they make? A big, big yes. We can do it, they exclaim, positively, yes, and yup. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked hard to fix it and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace, and reduce their use of plastic and put trash in its right place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us too?